Welcome all of my su what? Oh, you're wondering about that? This new subscriber who is immortalized onto the subscriber wall? Oh, that's nothing. Oh, don't worry about that. But you could join him. Yes, don't you worry. There's still 94 spots left, so you still have time. All you have to do is subscribe, of course, and then put your name in the comments below, exactly how it's spelled. And I will put your name up on the subscriber wall. It's that easy. Oh. But seriously, guys, on a serious note, thank you all for subscribing and commenting and sharing and liking my videos. Honestly, going through and reading the comments that you guys leave, really makes a difference in my content. I know what to do, I know what you guys like, and honestly, it's fun. I'm having so much fun with it. So I plan to keep making content like this for you guys, and I hope that you enjoy it. I may come out with other content, but uh, please just bear with it, and you know, but I'll try and stick to most of my space engineers. But on with the video. And so here we are, back in space. So, someone left a comment, a very important subscriber to me, left a comment saying you should build a ship that can carry, that was basically a hauler for hydrogen and oxygen. So we're going to design a new ship refitted to hold a shit ton of hydrogen and a shit ton of oxygen and probably have some cargo space for any other material. But one key thing is that we're going to keep it separate from the rest of the ship. Well, as you can see, this is what we have so far. I think it looks really awesome. So I'm kind of going for like an insectoid kind of style. So it's like, it's got like this big chitin armor plate all across the hull to keep it nice and protective. But obviously this vessel is meant for um, spacefaring and bringing cargo from places to place. So it's not gonna be heavily armed, but this this is what we got so far. This is the insect, insect-like ship that we're going to use. If you notice that I, I'm starting to, in a lot of my builds, I'm actually starting to incorporate a lot of every kind of thruster. I didn't really do that before because I always felt like, with my de designs at least, it was hard to incorporate, um, all the components that you wanted like atmospheric thrusters hydrogen thrusters and then you have to hook up all the hydrogen thrusters but um i'm starting to do that a lot more now and it's become easier and easier but yeah this is what i have so far so now because this is a cargo vessel we're going to add three kinds of cargo uh, areas so we're gonna have hydrogen oxygen and regular cargo storage for fuel for other ships and this ship is going to be able to fly dock with another ship fuel up and then fly away all right so let's get at that right now
and here it is. This is my creation. So I, I went a little overboard. I completely finished it. I said I was going to just do the cargo area, but essentially I finished up the interior and I finished up the cargo area. So inside it's got this like first airlock um, that you kind of like land in. Then you come up in over here into the main lobby area slash kitchen. So the ship, when I was building it, because it's supposed to just be like a carrier uh, of cargo, it only needs one pilot. So this person would fly to different fleets and he would get in, go, bring supplies to other ships or other fleets, load them up and then just fly back. So this would be his quarters and he has a bed. He has a cryo chamber if uh, I had to go into stasis or a very long flight. We've gotten a nice view of all the way around the cab. And that's a nice thing that I added is that you can actually just walk on the outside of the cab for no real reason, just I thought it'd be cool. We have the cargo area. So the first section is housing for oxygen and oxygen tanks. And that's what those pistons out there lead to is uh, uh, these oxygen tanks. The next one connects up to the hydrogen and the last one connects up to the regular cargo container. And you can access each one of these manually from in here. But what I've tried to do is keep all of these um, containers separated from each other. You should be able to go take your ship, connect up to the section that it needs, and it will refuel your ship. So in the back, we also have these awesome modded blocks, which add a small amount of shields to our ship. All right, so I'm gonna give a quick little demonstration of all of the little neat components of it. Um, essentially what I'm talking about when refueling is that there's three uh, arms and they come out like this at the same time because I didn't wanna do it individually. I thought that would just be a, a little too much, but then you can park up beside another ship connect up, refuel, oxygen, and then if they need something else, we can bring those out, bring these back in, and then fuel them up with some ammo. So yeah, you can bring them all out at the same time, which uh, is probably not the best idea. Don't really need that. But yeah, all in all, I'm really happy with the design. I think it looks good. The bottom side is a little plain and very, very open, but that is because of the atmospheric thrusters. Um, I needed room for them to, uh, well, basically be able to thrust out. So, but I, all in all, I'm still very happy with the design and I hope you enjoy this next segment. This is the Scion class freighter. 
Manufactured by the Mantoid military, this freighter was designed to ship hydrogen, oxygen, fuel, and a variety of ammo, as well as some other components to friendly vessels. This ship could break through atmosphere with relative ease to deliver cargo to stations on planets. Although it was unarmed, it had shielding, which offered great defense when fleeing situations or traveling long distances. The ship stood at an impressive length of 39 blocks, thus being classified as a frigate. Even at such a large length, only one pilot was needed to operate such a craft. This was beneficial to the Mantoids because most Mantoids were solitary and preferred to pilot ships on their own, not having to rely on any other member of the ship. The cockpit was spacious and roomy, giving great visibility to the pilot. Equipped with GR Hopper landing gear, the Scion could land almost anywhere on any terrain on any planet. Anyways guys, that's all I have for today. So remember, if you're subscribed, comment your name down below exactly as it's spelled, and then I'll put your name up on the subscriber wall. That's all I have for today, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Chonkers out.